What's up everyone, Yusuf Lath here from TechDroids and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel and today I'm taking you guys over a $500 gaming PC featuring the Ryzen 3 1200 from AMD. So Ryzen 3 was launched recently on 27th of July, it's available worldwide on Amazon.com as well. So drop this video a big thumbs up and all the parts mentioned in this video will be linked in the description to Amazon US and those are our affiliate links so yeah if you want to help the channel out buy from those and yeah with that being said let's get the performance and the parts that make it all possible. So for the performance, it's pretty straightforward. Keep your expectations, you know, moderate. So you'll get 1080p, 60fps, you know, medium to max settings gameplay in most of the modern AAA titles such as Witcher 3, Battlefield 1, GTA 5 and the newer titles as our CPU has 4 cores. And in the older titles such as CSGO, Minecraft, League of Legends, Dota 2, World of Warcraft, you can expect, you know, 1080p, again, medium to max settings, 60fps or even more than that in some cases. But yeah, these are just estimates, so yeah, you would have to, you know, tinker around with the settings to get the best playable experience. And with that being said, let's get to the parts that make it all possible. So for the CPU, we have the AMD Ryzen 3 1200. It's a quad-core CPU with 4 threads clocked at 3.4 GHz. It, it is overclockable and it also supports AMD's XFR technology that is extended frequency range that helps you to get better clock speeds and better overclocking performance. It's VR ready, it's totally future-proof and also comes with its own Wraith Stealth cooler. And for $109, that's not a premium you're paying for this performance that you'll get and it's competitive against those i3s and the pentiums that intel has and it's better than all of them i guess at least in my opinion next up to house that cpu we have the asus prime b350m-a it supports hdmi dvi and vga it's a ddr4 motherboard and it supports up to 3200 megahertz it's in micro adx form factor so you're not paying a premium for small it supports m.2 usb 3.1 and also has strengthened PCI slots, that is Asus's classic technique. So yeah, the heavy duty GPUs that you might use on this motherboard will not affect the PCI slot. For $85, this does the job and I didn't find anything better value for money. And the fact that you can overclock on this one, it's totally a bonus. For RAM, we have 8GB of Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4, 8GB of DDR4 at 2400MHz is what you need. And for $70, this is kind of steep. I told you guys the RAM prices will go up once the CPU is out. And you guys didn't listen to me. So yeah, it's $70 for 8GB of DDR4 now. For mass storage, we have 1TB of WD Blue at 7200 RPM. For $49, you get a TB of space, which is really good value for money. Really good, you know, reliability from Western Digital. And yeah, I have been recommending this from the time I started doing these PC builds. So yeah, it's a pretty, you know, trusty hard drive and you can go for it as it does the job. For the power supply, we have the EVGA 500 watt 80 plus white. It comes with three years of warranty and comes with that 80 plus white certification. So yeah, you know that this will run above 80% efficiency at all times or at least in ideal conditions. It retails for $35 and should do the job and it has pretty good value for money and it's pretty reliable as it's from EVGA. Now for the graphics card, we have the Gigabyte Radeon RX 560. So this is the gaming overclocked edition that comes with four gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, HDMI, DVI, and display port at a core clock of 1300 megahertz in oc mode and 1287 in gaming mode and it also has h.265 encode and decode acceleration for 129 dollars this is just the best gpu you can get and if you can get a better gpu such as a 570 or a 580 please be sure to get it but i don't know where you'll get it from because amazon.com doesn't have one in the price that it was listed before so yeah anyways if you can get better gpus it's always going to be better performance for the case and to wrap it all up, we have the Thermal Take Versa N24 out of a Star Wars movie. It's just like, you know, a spaceship housed in a PC case. It has a lot of front panel I.O., a lot of drive base, a lot of expansion slot, liquid cooling support, looks good, spacious and has cable management support. For $50, you cannot ask for more. This is just a really good looking, really good performing case for 50 bucks. And that wraps it up guys. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a massive thumbs up. Get subscribed to TechDroids for more videos like this. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Cause it's all right.